was a sense of great responsibility and saying, could I do it? Could I do those things? And I had to carry it through. Very early on, one became aware that you were different. I wanted to go to the merry-go-round. We were not allowed to go. I was a curious child, so I would always want to know why. I was freelancing as a journalist, and I had arranged an interview with Dr. Naika, who was president of the Indian Congress. Dr. Naika, he said, Walter Sassoul was looking for you. He'll call you at seven o'clock. And when the call came, I took it, and Walter said, Frenny, please leave immediately. People had been massacred at a demonstration in a place called Sharpville. The ANC was going to be banned. Frenny Ginoala was a lot of things. She was a journalist, a lawyer, and then she went into exile and very bravely taking political prisoners and sending them on to their next step. It's almost a heroic tale in a funny way. She opens the door and there's Nelson Mandela. When Mandela did arrive, I had to hide him. I'd received him in Dar es Salaam. They rang the bell and I opened the door. My first year, and I've got to hide you. I never lived that down because Mr. Mandela had an incredible memory. And every now and again he would say, you know, this girl, the first thing she says when I come out of the country and see her, she says, I've got to hide you. He doesn't even welcome me. The whole anti-apartheid movement, all of these people, began to work together. They began to work together, fight for the same sorts of things. They wanted a non-racial South Africa. I always believed we could. Otherwise, we wouldn't have continued. We all believed we were coming home. Coming in, I saw the total diversity of women, men, black, color, everything. A true picture of South Africa. That's it. I think I'm having fun with this whistle. <laughs> described herself as a terrorist travel agent. And so this portrait of her in front of those signs, it was the reflection of everything she had done. And her final appointment, the first female speaker of the National Assembly in South Africa. Of course we make mistakes, nobody's perfect. Even Mr Mandela made mistakes sometimes. The point is to recognise that and to correct it. At last, I can be a South African and be recognized as such. <laughs>